It is time, once again, to lock your doors, shut your windows, strap yourself into your favorite comfy chair, and tune out and tune into The Naked Zombie. G'day boys and girls and listeners of The Naked Zombie. Yes, it is another fantastic night with The Naked Zombie with a Naked Debate. And joining me tonight, sit in the cardboard box we call studio and armed with our tin cans tied with a bit of dental floss, I have Wadzi Jr. Hello, how are you going? He's back for another night. Excellent. We back have Liam. You. How are you? Bit of a squeeze in the box tonight? It's a yeah. bit of a squeeze. We're all getting nice and comfy. It smells and in here. It's <laughs> <laughs> and Wadzi, g'day mate, how are you? Sorry, I was just getting naked. (laughs) (laughs) He took his pants off. All good, mate. All good. (laughs) Anyway, guys, we are doing something special tonight. Look, we we, we dabble in a lot of different areas, and of course this is a lot of pop culture as well within the show. We have what we're going to call movie night tonight. And we're going to talk about all the cool movies we've seen and give our sort of response about it. And, And this is where we all love different genres of movies. I'm personally a horror sci fi man. Hayden is a more of a uh, Wiggles movie fan. Uh, I love, love it. Good movie. Big Red Car, <laughs> but, uh, my favourite. Yeah, Classic. Big Red Cat. He, he, he had a bit of a thing for Jeff there because oh. he, he didn't want him to wake up. Uh, that's a serial <laughs> killer. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Um, and of course, uh, Liam is much into the old classics yep, of television right. and movies. And, and Wadzi just isn't allowed to watch TV because of the court order from last time. Yes. Because yes. he thinks TV is real. <laughs> They jump out at me. <laughs> anyway, we're going People to talk die about... die and then come back the next episode. What is that? What is that? It's freaky, isn't it, mate? Yeah, it just does. Sets, it just sets sets right, sh- it? shivers. Settle, settle, mate. Sorry. Yeah. Settle, pedal. Okay. Okay. You, okay, you okay now? Yeah. You're good. Right. Okay. okay. So this is what Deep you're going breaths. to cop tonight, guys. There's a lot of that. So look forward to it, or you can go and hide in a fetal position somewhere in your bedroom and sob uncontrollably. <laughs> now, I actually went out to the movies the other night. They allowed you out? They yeah. allowed me out of, of, yes, I managed to break off my uh, GPS tracker <laughs> <laughs> and get out of the house for a while. And I went with my mate Pete uh, from Rockhampton. You know, I was best man at his wedding. That We decided, we went out for tea and decided... Well, you sobered up. We, we, we didn't drink. You didn't? No, it was awesome. We actually stayed sober all night, which but is really cool. But there's a pub cool. right at the movie theatre. Yeah, I know there's a pub. That's where we had tea. <laughs> yes. And I, and a couple I, and, of Guinnesses and go no, watch the movies. No, no, Great night. No, Coke. <laughs> Just on the coke, coke cocaine. <laughs> no, just on the coke. Just, just coke. Just a line coke. of coke. <laughs> a line of coke. No, anyway, and we went and saw. Naked Par- Zombie does not support drugs in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> no, because drugs are bad. Okay. Okay. And we went and saw, and I was quite excited about this. And, and this is this is the genre of movies we're talking about. Is I went and saw Paranormal Activity four. Um, have you seen one, two, and three? I've seen one, two, and three. I have a copy of number two, uh, which I didn't because mind. It was the best one? Have you ever watched it again after the first time? No. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, no, and that's that's a sad point. I mean, how many times could you flog a franchise to death when it doesn't turn out like Police mm. Academy? I think we've seen what Saw's done. <laughs> yeah, Saw. Rocky, S- seven times. Seven. To- oh. Yeah, but uh, Rocky eight. Unable to breathe without an oxygen mask. I mean, that's what it comes down to. When and still being able to understand. <laughs> but, Rocky ate the pill fight. <laughs> <laughs> Zimmer frame fight. Rocky. Zimmer frame races. <laughs> yes, imagine. Now, Rocky 27. <laughs> Rocky's funeral. <laughs> He's going to fight death to the finish. Who stole my false teeth? <laughs> yeah. But that's what it comes down to. Uh, we flogging the death out of these movies. But I mean, look, I know they make good money. And. and you, you do stuff for money, except what we do. We just do it because for some strange reason. But people produce these to earn an income. Like the first paranormal movie, I think it was about twelve thousand dollars Australian uh, when it was produced. That was twelve grand, yeah. and they made millions from it. Oh, ridiculous! A ridiculous like... amount of money. But Steven Spielberg jumped in there at one bit and and gave it his own little bit because it actually got shown originally at a film festival, and it really didn't receive any notification. No, it really didn't receive any sort of. It had a sort of a cult following. But that was it. It wasn't shown in major cinemas or anything like that until Steven Spielberg got his hands on it, loved it, changed it, tweaked a few things in it, and actually, you know, right at the end where the Sheila jumps up and she's got a demon face and kills a boyfriend and all. I mean, that's that's Hollywood. That's that's what they've done. Now, yeah. from the success of the first paranormal movie, they've produced two, three, and four, being four of the latest. 
I didn't mind the first one at all because it was pretty cool. You know, I mean, it had some real good... It was I, new. I, I, it, was it, it was new. I, I didn't jump up and down with much excitement during it and people... I mean, they showed the, the ads where everyone's sort of dropping their popcorn and they're doing it for this one too. They're yeah. sort of... Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, they're dropping yeah. up. And, and, and seriously... Um, it didn't have that effect on me, but I've seen a lot worse, if you know I'm in mean, my time, watching movies only because I'm old. Not as old as Wadsy, but I'm old. <laughs> uh, but it really didn't show me the true aspect, and I, it was good entertainment. I enjoyed it as far as that goes, and look, it was a good movie. It made a lot of money for the director and the creator, and which is great, and, and all was right with the world. Seriously. They brought out number two. I actually liked two better than I liked the first one. There was more of a storyline, I guess, yep. you know, type thing, you know, where, where Hunter was taken and stuff. Then they had the girls and, you know, when they were kids and all the rest of it. But they changed it up a notch again now with Paranormal Activity 4. I, I seriously am regretting wasting the $18. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it a $50 loan took out. I, 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 literally took a, I literally took a $50 loan to go out to the movies to, to see this show. And I was really quite disappointed, unfortunately. Look, I know a lot of people are going to hate me for saying this, and I've already lost people off the <laughs> fan <laughs> site because I said it was yeah. absolute rubbish, which is fine. Everyone's tired of their opinion, and I have a big one. Um and that's what it was. I just thought the whole, the the best the fu- the best part of the movie was the young fella, not the kid, but the the, the teenage bloke. All he wanted to do was check out the young girl's boobies. Uh, I thought that <laughs> was, was... This boobies from a dead person or a no, no, person? no. Gee, he, he, just yeah, too, typical <laughs> typical teenager boy it's wanting to cop a feel. Already type. dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But no, they weren't dead. They were all alive, and and it was that was the most humorous part was was him. He he actually made the movie. I thought he did a brilliant job, but the movie sort of fell apart for me in a lot of ways because it was very boring to start off with. It what, was the boobies didn't do it for you. You didn't see boobies. He oh. just wanted um, to see boobies. That's it's, the it's a big climax to let him down. Yeah, it, no, it was a fact. Yeah, you, know, you shouldn't be looking at underage girls' boobies. But it's <laughs> a, but it's just a general. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's 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 filmed the same way where it's just. Stationary cameras. And kind of, of yeah. like it's almost like a Blair Witch project, but not really. Yeah, like it's, it's exactly the same as the yeah. previous one with security cameras and, and all the rest of the type So it's thing. all um, implied horror. You don't actually yeah, see yeah, anything? Impl- yeah, you do. You actually okay. get to see, you know, you don't even see, there's no blood on it. It's uh, that jump yeah. out stuff. stuff like yeah. it's like jumping out of like, uh, no, yeah. sudden, like, yeah. sudden. Yeah, yeah, like you see something flash across the screen and you weren't expecting it and stuff like that. But I, I just. I was a little bit let down, I guess, because I had high hopes that with all the success they had with the first three, they'd actually produce something that was totally mind-blowingly and mess you up mentally. That's that's the beauty of the paranormal movies. You, you, there, there isn't a lot of horror horror. It's like a lot, a lot of psychological horror, and yep. I think that plays a worse part on people than anything, but I didn't even get that. But when if you haven't seen the movie, when this one lot... When, uh, look, I was actually given points out loud in the theatre... When, it, when someone did die, I'd give them a, a death rating. Uh, <laughs> I can just imagine you sitting yeah. there with your cardboard and a nickel. Yeah, ten. <laughs> ten. I mean, I gave, I gave mum there, I think it was a 6.7 on her landing, so to speak. I mean, yeah, if you've seen the movie, you'll know what I mean. Um, I haven't, so I don't. And, and, and unfortunately, you'd never want to come out of the movies with me anyway because I tend to... <laughs> I tend to be very opinionated, and unfortunately, the That's people. Not right, they're not doing that right. They should have done that with a you know, no, no, it's green not that. I, I, I just can't help myself. Anyway, the people sitting close around me were sort of giggling themselves silly because I'd make a stupid ass comment. It was just loud enough to be heard, but not interrupt the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and at least you thought it was funny. Yeah, yeah, at least they yeah, thought, yeah, thought it was funny. And uh, because like, everyone in the theatre was pretty bored, I reckon, because I was speaking to people afterwards. Because you know, I just get and chat to anybody and. And, and I'll yeah, you know, stand there. That's your problem. Yeah, I don't talk to anybody, and that's what's part I've of my job. I've heard about yeah. you from <laughs> Danger. I should have done like the Rocky Horror style, um, <laughs> gone up in front of the screen and you know got all the audience participation. Yeah. And... Yeah. Okay, Mexican way. <laughs> <laughs> There's only three of you. It's awesome. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't. It was only a handful of people in the theatre too, which sort of took me by surprise, uh, especially on a Wednesday night. So know. when did it open? Oh, uh, it opened like a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it was only last yes. week. Yeah, yeah last week. Not yeah. very long. So, it's so not... there wasn't very many people in the no, start. it's feeling you. It, it is yeah. fairly, but you expect someone like that to have... Like, Especially for the hype it's had. I mean, it's had well, a it's an amazing time. amount of hype, and yeah. this is the thing. But, um, look, I know the actors... Look, all the actors did a fantastic job. 
It's because yeah. they're getting paid. Yeah, well, they're getting paid. But, I mean, it's even some paid actors don't do a very good job. We will not mention Nicholas Cage. Oh, <laughs> dang uh, uh, <laughs> But, I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, I mean, I guess, personally, I was expecting a lot more than what I got. Yeah, you know, I was expecting, well, after three movies... You think they would have got it right? They would have had... They would have put it all together and produced something that was freaking. And I was really excited about going. I was like, "Come and join me at the pitch. I'll be at." Yeah, I was really excited about going to see this, and I was horribly let down. And that's was a shame for me. But you know, I'm not stopping anyone from seeing it. Do you want a hug, Brad? Do you want a hug? Yeah, look, I place a lot of emphasis on this sort of stuff because <laughs> I don't have a life out of anything else. So, and that's what my impression was, guys. Have you seen it yet? No. I haven't seen it yet, but I've been watching the trailers very closely. And apparently, there's some sort of Facebook group where I'm supposed to be going to with all of my friends. But I like even from the ads, and I've watched the other ads, and I thought, nah, couldn't even go see that. Like, there's no way because I'm terrible at scary movies. Like, not not a gory kind of fan. It's not of, gory. That's the well, thing. There's no anything anything horror based. Like, so so of. Saw wouldn't do much for you then. Saw would probably make me throw up. But so 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 you're not into horror porn because that's basically what it is. No, not really. <laughs> I think that's a confusing statement, but yes, um, <laughs> no. But um, like I know I've usually looked at the ads and even been like, like even for other movies, I've just been like, no, I can't see that. But I looked at um, the paranormal four activity ads and I was actually in a cinema where it came on, so it's on the big screen, yeah. kind of all in your face. And I think it was just before they released it on TV. Um, and I was like, oh, that's not that bad. I don't know. Maybe I should go see the other ones. Like, I just, I mean, even like they're trying to show the scary parts of people mm-hmm. getting scared and it's just like shadows appearing. I was like, that's not really that scary to me. Like, I, I always expect something to appear out of nowhere because, you know, you always see the silence or the what was that? And then like next thing, you know, boom, there's someone there. So I kind of like, look, I think it might be pre- predictable and I'm kind of someone who started media a little bit as well too. So, so I... Sort of yeah, see. Oh, you study movie. Uh, yeah, you know, high so school, I, I see that. a little bit of that sometimes before it even comes, and I guess that kind of ruins everything for you. But yeah, I just feel like it might be a bit predictable now that they've done three movies that there's going to be sort of an element of just sort of trying to find where to put scary parts in rather than developing the story of scary parts. But you find that with a lot of films, that once they get to two, three, and four, that's it. It, it it's, just wanes. It's, it's yeah, dredging the bottom of the barrel by that stage. Yeah, yeah. I think a, a film comes a classic when. A line from the film becomes part of the English language. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's a good indicator. You know, yeah, Poltergeist you got there. He. I mean, that's that's that. And I've actually, this is really cool. I actually got production photos from the Poltergeist. Yeah, so you showed me those before. Yes, yeah, yeah. Auction, were they ones we auctioned off? Yeah, I was going to auction them off. Uh, well, I never got around to them. <laughs> and, Classic. And, and, and I was sort of a bit scared in a way because they're like... They were full of promise, Brad, aren't you? Well, I never. Well, I was thinking promise. about auctioning off, but I've, I've got these... See, I've got a lot of cool stuff that I sort of... I really don't want to let go. <laughs> I mean, no, they're, they're worth a fortune. And, yeah. and if I sold them, I could really probably buy another house. But it's it's not the point. The point is no. I get a lot of pleasure out of looking at these things because they're actually production photos from the movie. Plus you need a few superannuation. Yeah, that's right. When I retire, they'll be yeah. worth more then. But and this is the thing. I mean, you look at the Poltergeist series. Yeah. Oh, it just got better and better. In, in my viewpoint, it just got better and better because there was a storyline to an affected the whole family. Yeah, but I true. think, you know, it came from that day and age of movies where I think, you know, writers and producers and directors wanted to, you know, with every subsequent movie, they wanted to better the last one that they'd done as well. Of course. Whereas now, you know, you've got these big film franchises and, you know, they're just, all they're interested in is just using the same format, you know, over and over and over and they just the safe, the story. The safe bet, the safe like bet, yeah. putting the money in it. And I guess back in those days, a lot of it was about the art still rather than just getting that production value again. Like, not just selling the DVD, not selling yeah. you know the, the video or whatever it was that day. Um, it's not thinking about you know publishing rights or thinking about you know selling like the gear of it. It's really was about the movie and the movie in the cinema yeah. rather and than I the think, movie on DVD. Or, yeah, and yeah, everyone has sort of their bit of a giggle when they see the ads on TV. You know, grown men squealing like three-year-old girls and throwing popcorn. You know, yeah, like, oh, yeah. oh if that, that, that wasn't staged, I don't know. What well, was. I mean, this is the thing with a lot no, of. I like that all too. the time. I do that all the yeah, time. It's not so much <laughs> isn't that normal? Yeah, but you do that when you, you step out of the shower and you see yourself over. in the mirror. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, with a lot of that too, like all of that footage is taken. They, you know, we're getting to a point in you know sort of movie making now where all those movies are beta tested as well. So they'll make a movie and you know they show it in a cinema with a select you know group of you know select audience to see what 
reactions, you know, what best reactions they can get by doing certain things. And then, you know, when the final movie comes out, they'll tweak it, you know, and they'll put the scariest bits in that they got the biggest reactions from their beta testing. And, yep. Yep. you know, so, I mean, even from that point of view, there seems to be, you know, not a huge amount of risk or, you know, like involved. Like, they're, you know, they're beta testing these movies, you know, two, three, four times before they actually hit the cinemas, you know, mm. just to try and see what reactions they can get out of test crowds. I mean, but that's the thing. Anything, they always have a, uh, a test crowd first when they're showing a movie and stuff like that. They get people's reaction, then they'll go back and sh you know, cut it and shut it and change yeah. it again and do it again. Director's yeah. cut kind of I thing, I mean, because, yeah. look, I'm not saying at all, because it would be a very difficult task to do, to produce a movie. I've never produced a movie. I'm no expert in it, but I know what I like. I know what I'm going to fork out my money for to go and see. I We are the paying public. You know, we we sort of we make this stuff possible by going to see it. So mm. we do expect a certain amount of entertainment as paying public. Yeah, if we exactly. didn't pay for it, nothing gets done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. They're not just going to hand over money here and make a crappy... Oh, they do make crappy movies, but we're going to fork over you a heap of money, here you go, and we don't expect anything in return. It wouldn't happen that way. No. They rely on folks, us fans of, of movies well, and different genres. The big movie stars get paid by the amount of dollars that they think the movie's going to make. Yeah. So if they think it's going to make more money, their fees, fees go up. Oh, yeah. Damn straight. I mean, it's just... Even though they're doing the same job and the same amount of work for one movie, they're doing the same amount of work for another movie. If that one's going to make more money, they'll get more money from that one than they will the other one. Nicolas so, Cage, why? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to throw that. Nicolas Cage in <laughs> Witch Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer the rock in that. that so you're good. telling me that I need to go to Witch Mountain? <laughs> <laughs> Witch Mountain, do you want me to go to? I can't go Witch Mountain are you talking about? <laughs> Who's on first? Is it, is it the, the one on the left or is it the one mm -hmm. on the right? <laughs> but this is where we come to the whole thing of, of the horror genre where it's gone nowadays. It's, I remember... The Evil Dead, you know, uh, Dawn of the Dead. Um, Dawn yeah. of the Dead is one of those movies that kind of came out of nowhere, but was so good. Oh, like, like Shaun of the Dead. Sh Even I yeah. enjoyed that oh, you know, with you know, the boys who did that. It, to me, I love a good horror comedy, like like oh, Shaun of the Dead. You can't you can't go I past lie. it. It's absolutely brilliant movie. And and they and these the boys have you know, like Hot Fuzz and all the rest of it. And and I just uh, Matthew. It. I had it a second. <laughs> anyway, then they did Paul. Yeah, you know, about oh. the alien and stuff. Yeah. Like, Everyone's gonna have a dive movie though. No, that was awesome, man. I thought. Oh, really? You liked Paul? I oh, loved Paul. Oh, Paul was brilliant. Maybe some, didn't get of, it some of the other movies that you know sort of were in, I guess, between Hot Fuzz and Paul. Were there was bit, like Run, Fat Boy, Run. Yeah, that was a bit of disappointment. Bit questionable. But that's fine. But they've got to dabble in different things and get their ideas. But and ninety percent of the time, they make a good movie. Paranormal Activity for it. To me, it wasn't a. Gr it was an okay movie. Wasn't Would have been a Sunday special when you're really bored and it was raining day. You got nothing else better to do. Yeah, I'd go and pay to see it. Would I wait for it to come out on DVD after I've seen it? No. Would I rent it out on the weekend when it's a rainy day and I'm bored shitless? Maybe. If you know what I mean, yeah. I have to be in the. You've got to be in the mood to watch a movie like mm. that. And I guess all the hype didn't do it. Justice. Justice in that sense. And you can send all hate mail to me because if you thought it was wonderful, tell me. Tell me you thought it was wonderful. What about, um, I mean, look. Men in Black brought aliens to the real four. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah like the Men in Black. Men in Black series got three now? Three, 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 three now, but apparently that was called the, th the third sequel. It didn't have to happen. The third sequence That's, didn't have to happen. Well, yeah, no, it's not sequel, but sequence. But yeah, the third, the third movie it shouldn't have happened or didn't have to happen. Okay. Someone wanted to report. But it yeah, I mean, everyone started talking about aliens as soon as Men in Black came out. Well, it did bring it to the non-sci-fi kind of exactly. genre. Like, yeah, yeah. it brought it out of that. That was because of the actors in it. Yeah. Oh, Tommy Lee, actors, Tommy Lee, and Nerd Smith. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, people were talking about Roswell. Well, I mean, that's all it was in the past. Roswell and people thinking they're weird, looking at UFOs out in the. Bush. Mm. Uh, out in, the, in, in Nevada. Nevada. Uh, yeah. In hey, the middle of Australia. I, I put it up before on the Naked Zombie fan site and actually put down what was the worst horror movie you have ever seen and why. We'll read it out. And we're going to read your comments out. So if you listen to the show, your comments are going to be read out on the zombie. Oh, my God, it's you. It's yeah. you. And <laughs> the first you. one comes from a good friend of ours. We're from Ghost of Oz. Big plug. Ghost of Oz. You're awesome. Um, is from... Danny and Danny writes uh, the human centipede. Terrible acting, terrible concept, terrible directing. That was and just it messed was up. Just gross. And what's worse, I actually bit the you bullet and Oscar? saw the human centipede. 
two. You went, you went the whole oh, hog. I went the you whole went the whole centipede. And I thought the first one was just gross and disturbing and just wrong. If you've seen both of them, though, doesn't it make it a millipede? Well, basically, that's what this guy <laughs> tries to do. You He's know how you had three people in the first one mean, saying mate. they had the <laughs> old... Got it. Actually, actually, I, 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 do you I, know what it is? The human no. centipede. Oh, oh. Mate, you haven't lived two seconds. Okay. You, Should we explain what it is? Just in case someone hasn't seen it. That's a that's a Google worthy moment. That's a yeah, it's, it's you'd like, be shocked, surprised. It's it's like it's like, it's like it's like I got shown two girls one cup the other day and I need to Oh, <laughs> who showed you that? <laughs> How could you bring that up? Oh, no, seriously, dude. My, my mate thought it was absolutely hilarious because the reaction I got, I couldn't watch it. That's like one of those trolling videos. <laughs> you don't actually you don't actually show it seriously. No, no, it was it, you, it's um, no, it was horrible. The dude. scary I, thing is we saw that in grade ten. I have no shame. What could I say? I just I didn't watch it. I just caught. You the... didn't watch it. No, no. You I just caught... said you watched no, it. No, this is what happened. He said, "Check back this pedal, out." Back and he pedal. put it up. And he put it up. And I looked at it. And went, <gasps> and, I, uh, and I literally tried to throw up in my lap because. So it you went... only watched the first couple of seconds. I of... Like the first half a second thing. And I oh, like, you've seen nothing. Yeah, yeah it it gets seen like nothing. No, gets I couldn't worse. watch. Anyway, can we just we'll move on from yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> Let's take it out of the gutter and back into the street. To more classy things like the human centipede. Yeah. So basically, I'll give you a premonition. This this mad scientist basically has three people and he has the old ass to mouth thing happening because they're trying to have like a totally circulation where they, they eat and sewn eat. together sewn together they're, they're so, so the they, person's they, mouth is they, sewn onto the other person's bum bum and, and only like the it. first person can eat so you eat yeah. the first one and, that and then that goes, goes through, through and then they eat it and then they're through that's only the three people yeah right the second one he sews 12 of them together oh. they all die in the end don't they well, the first one he will die. Want to see it, but, I've never but, seen it. <laughs> but anyway, the, the, all I can say is that... I've just wikipedia In the second Don't. movie, <laughs> the guy... In the second movie, the first movie is a movie, and that's what he's going off, and, he, and the science is plausible or something like that. So this warped mental case decides to start doing things to people and stitching them together and, and like, yeah it's just pretty horrific and, and I sort of went <laughs> during it so the human centipede one and two uh, if you're into horror porn and that's what it is in my, it's just gross like it's just a lot of blood and, and people being mutilated and all if you're into that sort of thing you probably enjoy it but no I didn't enjoy it but part of what I do doing the show is I have to make myself watch stuff so I can go I'll never want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> don't watch this. <laughs> don't lie to me. Tech, don't lie to me. Technology. I don't want to see that. Also, so yeah, Danny reckons I want now. Kim Riddle, uh, the original Evil Dead. I cracked up when the uh, demon stuck a pencil into the bloke's ankle. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Evil Dead. The pencil incident was cool. And isn't that the one? Yes, I Evil Dead. Got to love the Evil Dead. Well, that was the the most bizarre thing about the Evil Dead franchise was the original was done to be a. It was supposed to be a legitimate, scary horror movie. Yeah. And it was so unbelievably crap that by the time they decided to do a second one, they literally just said, let's just do a, a horror comedy because uh, no one took the first one seriously. Yeah. No, no. And the it, second one, you know, because they they weren't being serious, it was yeah. absolutely brilliant. Yeah. And, and that's, I mean, this is where it, it really stems from, all these fantastic... I mean, I, I, I love the Evil Dead series. You know, I thought they were great. Uh... I love the fact you also got, you know, well, basically you had, you know, Ash, um, what was it? Yeah, the Evil Dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ash, yeah, when he cuts his hand off and puts a chainsaw on. Boomstick. <laughs> boomstick. You got a face full of boomstick. Yeah, I, I actually love that. I mean, I love the third one, you know, and, and it's just, it's, yeah, it's weird and warped, but it's, it's, it doesn't mess you up too much. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, and that's the thing, it, you know, you can switch off from it. Uh, movies like The Human Centipede, you can just imagine some sicko out there trying that. I'm sorry to say. You can yeah. just picture yeah. some... The scary thing is someone had to get the idea from somewhere. Yeah, someone had to get the idea from somewhere, so he's probably sitting there stitching these teddy bears together going, yeah, make a human teddy bear feed. Yeah, <laughs> kind of thing. You can have infinite teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> infinite teddy bear. But, then, you know, Human Centipede, it, it just grossed the crap out of me. Evil Dead loved it. I've got another one from, um, uh, from Daniel Morton uh, here at The Grudge. Great movie. Oh, oh, I've heard so that, many good that, things. That, nah. You got well, two versions. You got oh, the okay. American version and, and you got the Japanese, the Japanese version. original. The Japanese yeah. version, I think I've had more The about. Japanese one will mess you up psychologically oh, and yeah. you will not be able to sleep. 
Yep. Seriously, Don't that one. The, the American version went, eh, yeah, yeah, scary. Yeah, I can deal with it. Aliens? No. Ghosts? No, no, grudge. Uh, yeah, ghosts. 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 Yeah. Ghost boys, wells, all that type of thing. Yep. That was the ring. That was not, that's not the... Yeah, the ring with the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like all, all the same basic premise. Um like I said, uh, Daniel writes uh, The Grudge. No idea what the movie was about. All I know is I laughed the entire movie because of how bad it was. Ha ha. That would have been the American yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like the, the, the Grudge is Sarah Michelle Gellar. Yeah. One? Yeah. yeah, pretty sure. And it was. Something about a hand coming out the back of her head in the shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just, just weird. She, you know, goes, yeah. she cuts a bit of a feel. You know, she's pretty hot. You know how it is. You know, <laughs> how you doing? You yeah. Know, yeah. Boy, yeah. drink afterwards, so to speak. That's it. That's what, but the, the Japanese version. And the Japanese version of the ring, um, no different kettle of fish. The, the mm. Japanese produce horrors that will mess you up mentally. Yeah, yeah, if you're they're, not, they're you're very psychologically based. Yeah. Space. yeah, there's not a, there's not much. How do I put this? The, it's not like a splat fest. You know, it, it just the concept of what could be. The Japanese just are, are culturally brilliant when it comes to this sort of movie making. They really are. It's the same as their henti and the anime and, yep. and all the rest. And, you know, the amount of work and detail they put into stuff like mm, that. They yep. have a lot of detail where you probably don't recognise it the first time, but I've seen it like three or four times now, the Japanese version, and you always pick up something else. Yeah, but I mean, Sorry, that's... I'm talking about... <laughs> yeah. That's right, man. Yeah, they come from a like a culture too that's yeah. you know it's very complex and detailed you know as to their superstitions and beliefs of course and, you know, so I mean it, I think if anything it makes them yeah, absolutely brilliant filmmakers when it comes to horror movies because you know they're constantly you know they're constantly they have that kind of thing happening in everyday life yeah. that's a part of their lives so oh look mate we are just getting hammered with I only put it up a couple of minutes we've got ten comments already that's, okay. the most, that's the most Brad's ever seen on your Facebook page. <laughs> what about you bagging paranormal activity? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't care. I'll bag with it. No, no, paranormal activity. Um, okay, uh, Deanne, uh, Deanna Adams writes... Gigi. Gigi? Gigi. G-I-G-I. What's it? Gigi. 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 Sorry, I have to get my pronunciation. Um... Okay, so Jesse, that was a horror movie, wasn't it? I was horrified. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not a, yeah, it's, it's... No, we're saying horror, not horrible. <laughs> horrible, well, horror, horrible, doesn't matter, it's all the same thing. So thank you for that, Deanna. Uh, Christine Yardley, Ryan Daly, uh, writes, and probably The Exorcist uh, first watched it and scared the crap out of me. Now I watch it and it's just lame as even laughable. I agree. A lot of the stuff that I saw as a kid... Yes. Scared the shit out of me. Won't lie. Absolutely scared the crap out of me. It wasn't until... It's like the goodies. You know, you, you watch them as a kid and they were the funniest things. You watch them now and he goes, I actually laughed at that. Yeah. But they're still but funny. They're still funny, but it's a lot of double in your windows in the goodies. Oh, that no you know, as, as, as a yeah. kid, you yeah. didn't, but as an adult, you go, <laughs> what? You move <laughs> bastards. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, But no. that's the same. I don't know if they Mad Max. The original yeah. Mad Max. I watched that and it was a bit... It was out there for that time. Of, the of course it was. Yeah, it was the 70s. It was, yeah. Now, I watch it now, I'm so bored. That's so what you showed me. That. Like He talked about it so much. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I've seen scary things in the toilet. I mean, <laughs> only because only, only Daddy wanted a nap. Yeah. yeah that's it. <laughs> you put this on, you just sit there. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I have to agree with that. It's, um, yeah, The, the Exorcist, um, it... I, st- I have the exorcist. I still watch it. I still get a giggle out of the uh, crab walk, the backwards crab walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> crab backwards walk. down the stairs. A uh, bit, bit of trivia for you is on that. Um, you know when the bed's jumping up and down and she's screaming and carrying on. And, and yeah, yeah, like, coming out of her mouth. And yeah, 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 basically the bed's the, up and the down. The priest's there saying, and, don't do that, don't do that. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and Reagan, you know, the girl's playing Reagan. You know, but jump, yeah. Yeah. They were her actual who were screams because the bed was that violent because it was on... Yeah, I remember right. hearing an interview that apparently she ended up almost breaking her back because she was twisted around yeah, so, so much. She got yeah, she was yeah. pretty badly hurt during the making of that. So right. that was the thing. I and like the, the head spinning around and, and the, that was an, one of the first animatronic heads. There, you know, like animatronic. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that really. That wasn't really her head, was it? No, 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 no. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Come on, love, you got to commit to this act. Like, come no, on. Look, <laughs> I, I have to agree. I look, I enjoyed the movie. I I still think it's one of the classics. If yeah. you know what I mean, you. you it's yeah, it's yeah. It, unless, unless they did repossessed, which was was Leslie Nielsen, 
And that was just... You can't take anything that Liz Nielsen done seriously. No, you can't. No. But it wasn't meant to be serious. It I know. Was... They're, they're great films, but... That was psychological horror. At the time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. all, all I can say is Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, what have we got to say? Oh, my God, more have come through. Uh, all right, Brittany uh, Stewart writes Death Tunnel. Uh, the concept of the movie seemed interesting, but it had the worst actors. Pretty sure half of them were porn actresses. Ha ha! It's just so bad. It's hilarious. Look, yes, I agree. That's the Booth Brothers. I've had Booth Brothers. We know the Booth Brothers on the show. Yep. From the Death Tunnel, they started producing Waverly. You know, like yeah. and, and so the, the big tunnel underneath Waverly, yeah, where the, the Waverly Death Hill tunnel. Sanatorium. And basically, what they did was that was probably one of their first movies. And like I said, it's not easy to move. I, I admit, it, it, I enjoyed it to a degree, only because there was. Be extra in there. Uh, <laughs> That's but, why she said but the point. Everything stars, in the it? movie, everything in the movie was based on what happened at the uh, Waverly Hills Sanitarium. Yeah, yeah like, the, the, like the the bleeding room where they used to hang body ups and, and drain the blood out of them because of um, you know the diseases and everything like that. Uh, the the sisters, the two sisters, committed suicide there, but all to do with these kids and there and they were experiencing the same yeah. thing. So yeah, I could probably agree with that. Uh, Polly Steele, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Seriously, Ben, I love Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. It would have to be the first slash I don't have a life movie ever saw. <laughs> You've never seen Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I've got not. a blank. You haven't even heard of Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. No, I was like, oh, yeah. Tomatoes. What about the Day of the Triffids? <laughs> oh, I love the Day of the Triffids. Day of the Triffids. Triffids. They, they, they did a couple of remakes of that, actually. I think it was back yeah, in the sixties. They did the original one. Older than that, I think. Yeah, uh, was, maybe it was, not. No, it was color. It was Technicolor back then. It was, it was, the, yeah, Day of the Triffids. Absolutely brilliant was, because. From a book. Yeah, well, that is uh, adapted from a book, and yeah. that's you know, you don't know. You're, I'm getting blank expressions from mm. young Wadsy. I'm just thinking on Facebook now. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, Day of the Triffids was a great, great movie. It was a scary ass. I mean, oh, yeah. Triffids were these big man eating plants. What they do, they'd sting you in the face with their stalk thingies, and it, it, it sort of paralyzes you, and they creep over the top of you and start devouring yeah. you. Yeah, so, since you're blind. Uh, you, yeah. you, you're blind, you can't see because there's this meteor yeah. shower. And people look at a meteor shower and they all got blind and this one guy in the hospital and he, he had patches over patches his patches eyes. Patches over his bandages, eyes, bandages yeah. and yeah. Day of the Triffids, Brett. Tack of the Kill Killer Tomatoes. I love the Tack of the Killer Tomatoes. It is especially the guy in the wetsuit walking around with the flippers. And you can, it was so badly done when people were being chased by killer tomatoes. Do you remember the lady in the shopping trolley? She's running away from I this big seen, tomato. Tomatoes. You haven't seen it. I know what you're talking about, but I haven't seen the film. There's this one scene in there I'll never forget. She was running away from this tomato. This tomato was on a trolley with wheels and a bit of string tied to it, but you could see the trolley and see the string. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, 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 there's I mean. been other attacks too. There's been Attack of the Killer Swarm, Attack of the Killer App, <laughs> and Attack of the Killer Condom. Well, I've, I've seen Attack of the Killer Condoms. Is it just like really? a French movie? It's an actual does it, film. Does yes, it no, jump over people's no, heads. No, seriously, it is a French movie. I actually, yes, I did see Attack of the. I will, I'll admit to that in a sad way. Attack <laughs> is of that what you were really looking for? Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> uh, Google search. Attack do of, tell. Attack of the Killer Condoms. You can Condom. go to YouTube and look at it. Yeah, seriously, dude. Oh, it's a French movie. It's all in French, and what happens is when they put the the condom on, it's alive and it bites it off and then it takes off with it. Oh no! Right. No. So all the only stuff. the French. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what happened to my Willy? Oh no! Now my Vina is gone. <laughs> my Willy, she just fell off. I don't know. You know? Now this never usually again. happens. That's, and I've seen it. The attack of the killer condom. It was this um, genetically mutated. Uh, condoms with these really sharp, horrible teeth. And what were they mutating them to do? They're, 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 they're like the an experiment gone wrong, if you know what I mean. It's like this ge uh, genetic experiment, and, and it actually got one, but when it bites it off, and so it's full, it takes off. It sort of uses that as the main source of treatment. <laughs> right. Does it come in large and extra large? <laughs> Did you know, Wadsy? Did you know that actually on a condom, if you roll it all the way down, it's actually got the logo of the company who made it. Really? Yes, well, I didn't know that. Yeah, did you know that? You no, didn't know I that. Didn't. Well, okay. well obviously, 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 you, you don't know it's all the way down. Yeah. yeah, sorry, you, you don't get that, do you? I do <laughs> get the joke now. You're so mean. They're picking on me, Daddy. Make them stop. And in the doll. Okay, we had. Don't look at me. Deanna writes in again. Can I just mention that with Giggy Facebook page that is currently beating your page in likes? 
with 8,150. That is also very scary. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it first on the zombie. Giggy is kicking naked zombies' ass by about 70 likes. Well, that's the incentive. You have to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually... Start no. sharing naked zombies. Yeah. Media. Now, now I'm just going... Do the world a favour. Now I'm just going to... Um, go and do something horrible to myself in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just terrible. Um, so I'm going to hit likes on all these because everyone's written in is just a fan. Oh, there's more. One hidden. What's one's hidden? Um, okay, I've got a hidden one here from Christopher Reed. Uh, the second Evil Dead, it's so completely shit <laughs> that it holds its own comedy. Yes, it was. So this is good. This is what... This is what people have written in. Um, Death and Tunnel, yes, we've mentioned that. We've mentioned Killer Tomatoes. Giggy again, who's kicking my ass in the yard. Uh, yeah. so, naked Zombie. Andrew um, Pendergeist, Blair Witch Project. I went to the movies thinking it was real footage and it scared the pants off me for that reason. Very valid point. A lot of these um, ones do come out as found footage. And this is what it's called, found footage. Yeah. You know? And a lot of us like... You're going into um, what's that one? Um, oh, the monster that uh, yeah, cl- like uh, the Cloverfield. Field. Yeah, Cloverfield. I was going to say that actually, just about to mention that. That's that Cloverfield actually was, made me sick. It was bit. actually really good though. It was. It was all shot supposedly with a yeah, little hand. Shakiness yeah, was it's pretty shaky. intense. It's what I found trouble with is that I went and saw the the, the movies. Like oh, if I if I think it's a good movie, I'll go and pay the money. Yeah, and yeah see it same. And yeah. That's but you I don't do. know that until you go see it though, because I. The movie was in the good. shorts. I'll yeah. show you the best bits. Yeah, oh, sometimes no, no. I mean, the movie was and you'd good. Think, oh, that's so good. There yeah. must be other best bits. No, but no I enjoyed show you it. the best bits on the ads. I really enjoyed it. The only problem... you're sitting there for two hours watching boring stuff. No, you're not clean the wax out of years. I enjoyed it. <laughs> clean them. No, I'm comparing. Yeah, I know what you're movies. saying, but I, I enjoyed it because. Yes. But the only thing that got me going was the fact how the shakiness. I mean, good old motion sickness. The motion yeah. sickness kicked in. I'm six foot two, weigh a hundred kilos. I may, and I'm just going. Oh, I don't feel well. One of the, the comments cameras just bouncing around. They was, made oh. is that they they did a lot of spinning from like looking at the center of the city to back to the people. Like when mm. like because the, the guy had the main guy has the camera and he's like, oh my god, filming this as they're all running around. One thing they forgot to do is like you know how like when you spin around in a circle lots of times the rumor is if you go back the opposite direction you you feel undizzy. They kind of forgot to do that, so they look to the city, then they come back this way, and then yep. they go back around again. You're like, you're kind of like, whoa, like getting the dizziness going on. But um, the only like the scene, I love the scene from there where they like they're finally getting up. I don't even know actor who the actor is, but she's quite popular. Um, coming up through the mall from the train station, and yep. she's just been bitten by one of the little mouth things that they've just fought in the train station, and she just explodes. That was like the thing you're not like not really expecting. That was probably the best part. Like kind of out of nowhere, it's sort of a, the end kind of ruins it because he like I don't know it just kind of ends like yep. you can't, like the last bit is just blurry footage and the camera getting tossed around, which kind of frustrated me a little bit. But all in all, it was a pretty good movie, and that's probably because I'm obviously too young to have seen the Blair Witch Project in the cinemas. To me, that was really really good because I hadn't seen that that before. But well, uh, that was the same problem that they had when Saving Private Ryan came out as well, and I mean that big opening sequence. Yep. And I think you know having arms and legs torn off didn't help a great much but <laughs> yeah. blood yeah, spattered had, on the camera or you know, fake blood yeah when yeah. it when it actually premiered the number of people that had running out of the cinema being really sick yeah. just you know basically just because they were getting motion sickness from yeah. the camera jerking around yeah. everywhere yeah. I get motion sickness and I didn't feel that at all in the in that movie, and I've seen it twice at pictures and yeah. obviously on TV. Well, and the, 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 I didn't. I watched. I didn't it think it was that jerky at all. Well, I found the quick motion like because you know, with a lot of movies, there's a lot of smooth panning and stuff yeah. like this. But it was like a home movie. Literally, it was over here, then over here, and I'm going, oh shit, oh crap, oh, where's my bucket? <laughs> but that's something I, I did get a little bit. You know, I was sort of like a lot of people don't. Some people do. It's just yeah. you know when I but you know. Typical me, I was sitting right up front going, oh, yeah, I'll get the best view here. <laughs> and, um, it really didn't do it justice. But, no, I really enjoyed um, Cloverfield on that side of thing because, hey, it was a good horror movie because you got to see people explode. And I think yeah. the fact that they did, like, they effectively killed off the characters. They did. Look, They the actors, didn't do, like, the, the stupid black guy dies first. And no, then, no, that's the, the, the thing. Like, they did in the original, in the original, was it Dawn of the Dead? Yeah. You know, I yeah. mean, unfortunately, uh, the, the, the black guy in that, you expect him to live, and he was the smart, courageous one. Yeah, and it's the arsehole that lives. You know what I mean? He got it. That's what's the genre yeah. of movies. I mean, and and it's just the way. And that did cause a lot of 
Um, controversy, and we call them Afri- African Americans Sorry. nowadays. Thank you. Just thought I'd share that with you. But yeah, it's that's just the way it was back then. <laughs> yeah. Um, but and and this is where it gets all changed. We we take we've taken the whole structure of movies from what they were to me were classic horrors, like uh, Fright Night, the original Fright Night. You know. And then they did a they did another Fright Night, mm. and I went. Uh, yeah, it, it just. What uh, is Hollywood running out of ideas? Oh, I think it's becoming quite apparent that's sort of happening now. Although that's you know it's the way that it's gone. You've gone from you know the, like the really good Hitchcocky and you know kind of yeah. psychological oh, you know, birds. Yeah, you know, where you go it's from somewhere like Psycho, where you don't actually see anyone get killed the entire time, but you know it it's all implied towards something, yeah. you know, and getting suspense killed, thing. You know, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then you sort of flip to like the whole um, like what is the final destination franchise of movies where you know how many of them are there now? Five, up to about six five, or seven. Yeah, end up doing a three. You know, oh, if you didn't, you know, didn't get off watching a whole heap of you know nondescript kids die in four other movies, like we'll make <laughs> well, a three D now as well. You know. Well, it's like it, it, it. I mean, the clown. Yeah, you know, it's uh, um, Stephen King. Stephen King. Oh yes, yep. You know where the first scene is that. You know, that little boy's playing with the boat in the drain and, and, and the clown sitting there saying, come yeah, here, come here, forever. And he comes out and then rips the kid his arms off and the kid dies. That was like the most horrible thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you know, it was like, oh, my God. The first, the first thing with a kid, that's pretty intense. It like. is yeah. intense. It was very intense. And it left me going, oh, crap, I don't know if I want to see this. But this Plus, is Stephen King. Well, it's Pet Cemetery. There's Christine, uh, the car that just goes around and runs people over. Yeah. You know I mean? It's just... The car takes over possession of the bloke who restores her, you know, yeah. and, and it could be from a real geeky, nerdy bloke to a, a sadist, you know what I mean, and just gets off on it. Yeah, and it's, yeah, it's just weird. But as I said, I don't, you, the way you write a film is if how the lines in the film become part of natural language. Yeah. Except for War of the Worlds. That was the an ultimate, excellent movie. The ultimate yeah. horror movie that had nothing because it was a radio show. Yeah. Oh, that's it right. It freaked yeah. out the whole of New, and, York, and, New and, York. People committed yeah. suicide because yeah. they thought it was legitimate. Yeah, and the, there was emergency calls being made everything. And who did that one? Orson Welles. Was that's right. Okay. Exactly right. Yeah. Orson yeah. Welles wrote. Yeah. I don't know. So he didn't write. Did he write it? Yeah, I think he wrote it. Yeah. Yeah, he wrote it. Yeah, he yeah. did. He wrote it he wrote and, and he announced it. it because it. Yeah. Yeah, he, he did it as a... Uh, as a radio show, that's right. Yeah. And, and back in those days, people honestly thought because we didn't have the TV yeah. and all the rest of it, all our radio was like, that's a powerful thing, isn't but it? But this is people yeah, in the what city. When you don't have Google, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, it must have sucked back then, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I've got to Google this. I'm not even a calculator. <laughs> hey, what does that MSN News say? <laughs> refresh? <laughs> refresh? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Where's guys. The Andy key? Where's the Andy key? <laughs> anyway, we're going for a music break right now because we're going to play our favourite band of all time. The band that we think are just absolutely rock stars in their own right. Please welcome the next song. We're to live the, in the studio. Oh, <laughs> no. Well, actually, to be. I am They're getting, in their own cardboard box. They're their own. But just some great news. Uh, the Zombie Apocalypse Theory are going to come in the studio. Are they? Oh, I'm going to have them in the yeah. studio uh, next month or so. They're going to come in and we're going to organise something to have them on the show and have a bit of a chat and we'll see if we're going to play a bit of music for us, a bit of acoustic stuff, whatever. I don't think we've fit a full four-piece full of band <laughs> here, but we'll work something out. Your wife might um, get a bit upset if you did so that. So, off their album, The Pandemic Begins, please join and listen to Void.
And we are back with the Naked Zombie, and tonight is, of course, movie night on the Zombie. And just a bit of a plug there for our good friends at Zombie Apocalypse Theory with Void, absolute brand. Don't forget, you can find the details on the website. You can go to iTunes Store and buy their music. Because seriously, folks, it rocks. It yeah. really is hard. And a lot of effort there too. All oh, self-produced for them as well. Self-produced, so. and yeah, look, Brent, check them out, see them, and and also just quickly, I better do this before I do anything else. Please check out our, our supporters. Go to supporters pays. Check out Brisbane, uh, Brisbane booths, photo booths. You know, the, we got our picture taken. We'll see, is there a picture of us? It's awesome. It's quite nice. It is nice. It's it, it looks like you know, it just looks like we're a little bit too friendly there, Liam. What's what your wife say about that? Oh, I've got mine in a private place. I'm just keeping it for later. If you put that on your passport, there's no way you're getting back into yeah. the <laughs> Was that a bad thing? No. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, also don't forget uh, Geek Speak. Uh, their stuff is now on the Naked Zombie website. Uh, they've got their own page under videos. And I am still editing the video from the Zombie Walk because I've been so busy with Monday night doing the show, Tuesday night doing the show, Wednesday night going out to the movies to checking out a movie for the show. Which you hated. Thursday <laughs> night show. So yes, we, I'm shattered, and I'm gonna. Have to, and then this weekend, what are we doing? This weekend, going out to the first of our investigations of yeah. broadcasting. So big weekend. This big weekend. We are bringing out the all the big guns here. We're actually going to video uh, film it. We're going to film it, and we're going to do it up as a uh, half hour or something. Now it isn't. Don't get me wrong, folks. It's not going to be a paranormal show. It's not going to be about ghost hunting and all the rest of it. It's more to do with the locations we go to, the people we meet, speaking to the owners and their stories. And we'll, we'll show you what we show you, and we will hear some of what they've gone through. We're, we're not we're not trying to be you know not doing it as a uh, a ghost adventure. No, it's no, not no, ghost no, adventure. no it's, it's not that. It's just us checking out these cool places we're going to invite to as part of the radio show and, and put up a video for you guys to see what we get up to there. That's all it is. So it's going to be a lot of fun for us anyway. Um, also, speaking of producing awesome stuff here in Australia, I must give a huge shout out to Attila and Don Mears for the hard work and effort they have put in and helping Australian paranormal side of things and producing documentaries and everything i mean i know tiller's doing uh darkness falls in india please yeah. only a couple of days left guys give them the support they need this is going to be huge um they, they work so hard uh guys from whisper are doing a fantastic job they are really stepping up to the mark on this i i do promote their stuff because what they're doing is truly unique and different also, I've got to give a shout out to Don because the stuff that he put together for the Monte Cristo investigation, the live view stream, how good was it? What a feat! Yeah. And people don't realise how hard it was oh, to put yeah. that together. Especially to get. when you're having a big OV, Dan, and all the production behind it, you're doing it yourself. Uh, you have, it's yeah. a huge effort. Look, to me, those two guys are absolute rock stars when it comes to bringing true stuff to the paranormal field, bringing tr love to what they do. Um, I cannot praise these two enough because how hard and how honest they are and how tough it is. Mm, you know, yeah. They really do a thing. So just a big shout-out to those who go. I know they listen to the show. Uh, we absolutely adore them. Oh, we think they're great guys and all the best for future fellas. And if anything comes up, please let me know. And I'll, I've got to get those two on the show. Eh? Look, I've been absolutely terrible because um, I've been so busy. Um, so Don and Attila, look, guys, I will get you on the show to have a chat about the stuff you're doing, what's coming yep. up next. I think it would be absolutely fantastic to hear from you. And the show they did. 
And the show they did, and the show they've done. What, Adela, how many shows has oh, Attila yeah, done Attila's now? done, yeah, half a dozen shows now, and all you know, along great lines as well. They produce some really fantastic stuff that's been broadcast on television. In Actually, Australia. it's been broadcast on, on so, TV. You know, down which Adelaide, is... Melbourne, you know, on Brisbane, you know, yeah. Bruce 31 that we've got here. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, really going the hard yards, producing that good stuff and you know, getting it in, you know, at least yeah. onto television you know, so people can you know, Actually see out, what so. we're doing. So, and, oh, don't forget what Don Mears has done. Oh, yeah, the, the guy is a friggin' le- to me, yeah, Don. I, I, I know I've met Don personally, and uh, yeah, we, we had a few bourbons together, and uh, he's just a lovely guy, and he knows his stuff. No, seriously, he does. He's as a cinematographer and editor, brilliant. It, it, it blows whatever I do in the film side of it out of the water. I, I cannot even handle a candle, hold a candle with these two. Yeah, it's just brilliant. Anyway, that's enough of that. Just want to let the guys know that we all appreciate what they do for us. Huge thumbs up. Huge thumbs up to the boys, uh, Atella and Don. Woohoo, big yay. I'll put some yays in there, I think. (laughs) Put in the yays now. Yay! Yay. Audio confetti. I'll just put some audio. I'll just make something up. Make some explosions. uh, (laughs) Yeah, Stephen King to say something. He's always good for a word. Oh, Stephen King, or do you talking about? Um, oh, you're talking about um, Stephen Hawking. Hawkins. Hawkins. Yeah. <laughs> it's Stephen King. <laughs> Stephen King would be good, but if we could get him, but you suck, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> so I get. Um, also, okay, um, Amanda Bachi. Uh, look, man, I do apologise if I pronounce your last your last name incorrect, but it's just past my bedtime. It's way past my bedtime. Yeah. Um, uh, American Werewolf in Paris. Uh, she writes, it was the first real horror movie I saw at a sleepover in grade seven. I went home because I was so scared. Ha ha. Looking back, watching it again, not that great. No, I I I loved um, American Werewolf in, uh, in Werewolf London. In London. Like the original. I, yeah. The original yep. was absolutely scared the pejeebas out of me as a kid. Uh, because it was just like guts and gore, yeah, it was and, and, gruesome. and it was gruesome, it, and it was pretty. Like I just laughed the fact that everyone he killed, they, he's sort of he's in the picture theater, wasn't he? He was watching yeah. a movie, and all the dead people They're sitting next to him going, yeah. "Oh, hello!" Yeah. <laughs> really polite, and yeah. oh yeah, and and they say, "Basically, you got to die, or we we don't get to move on." And that, but then they brought out American Werewolf in Paris. Oh. It was good. It was <laughs> comedy. Comedy. Value. For comedy. It was a comedy. Um, it was. It was. Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing I remember about American Werewolf in London. Just going back to that. Um, my media teacher tried to show it to me in like grade ten. Yeah. And there is a little bit of a naughty scene there where he does get a bit freaky with like the nurse that does. I think there's the nurse that looks after him in London. I'm pretty sure. Um, and he was like not obviously was forgotten about that part of the movie. And we're all in grade nine. So we're like. Hee, hee, hee like movies and that kind of thing we're like oh what's, what's going on so he tried to like pause the movie but instead of pausing he actually like slowed yeah. the frame rate down so it was like <laughs> slow motion <laughs> porn and we're just all giggling out like laughing he's like ah and, like freaking out with the remote and basically just ended up like basically throwing like throwing himself at a DVD player and hitting the inject button but <laughs> it was the best thing in a couple of days it happened so it was pretty funny <laughs> best thing about the movie too I That's, suppose yeah, I suppose yeah <laughs> All right, especially when you're watching it at school. Boobies, boobies. Uh, okay, uh, boobies. <laughs> um, Still like that, actually. <laughs> um, Kirsty Hall writes, and whether you can call it a horror, I don't know. Nerd. 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 We'll yeah. have to do some research on you that one. Do research on nerd. Just I've heard of nerds. I'm DB it. Yeah, DB it. Um, oh, well, let's consider me a nerd. Like, what do you call it? Wait, are we the freaky? Oh, oh man, we, is it harsh? No, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, and then she writes nerd in... the movie or nerd? Uh, and she writes, Don't mind retarded phone when a stranger calls is the most ridiculous suspense horror ever made. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah, is that like the, rema- like the remake of the old, t- like, wise tale that... Um, no, when a stranger calls. Apparently it's... Like it's babysitter. Yeah, it's like, like you check the kids and yeah, you're like... Yeah, have you checked your there's children? There's Nerd the Movie. Yep. Angry Nerd the Movie. Yep. Angry Nintendo Nerd the Movie. Or ang- Nerd Camp the Movie. I think oh, that'll be nerd, the first one. Yeah, nerd, nerd the, the movie. First what's movie. what's the premise? I, don't, I mean, funny for me not to know what a movie. Are is. Are you googling or you're IMDbing it? I'm googling it. He's on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> He's on Facebook. I'm, I'm Google. You Google. Yeah. You go to IMDb. Okay, well, we need, need to find a bit more about off. nerd. That sounds interesting. Well, actually, got Revenge of the Nerds. Oh, we I'm know sure about that, that one. That was no. just friggin'. That yeah. was actually. I probably watched that on TV about a week ago. <laughs> You have no life. <laughs> no, <laughs> you have no Admittedly, soul. <laughs> I think it wasn't like 2 a.m. in the morning. Oh, well, that's anything except that's for that time. Or buy a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> the shake weight. <laughs> shake weight. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Isn't that the most stupid? Oh, my thing? God. Oh. It's, it's like the shake. Hey, you know, speaking of, oh, I know we're getting off subject a bit, but. 
Didn't the guy who who did Sham Wow? Busted yeah, because he so, yeah, beat up a prostitute. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> like, the only classiest way How for us. How do you know all this stuff? I'm oh, sure. it was on the news. It was hilarious. Well, you're, 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 no, well, was it was it was it, something what? to mop up the mess. <laughs> yeah. And the, the, the DNA was very hard to I, find. I was <laughs> speaking to Wazzy about this the other night during the show. You take it to that level and just go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. yeah that it was just, as low as what I took it. No, no, a massive bomb dive. Oh God, I'm getting too old. The movie was a film. Uh, made during school holidays. I don't know, it doesn't really say anything. Oh, go to AM, IMDB. Yeah. Go to Wikipedia. Uh, so, what we might do, we might look into a bit more. Or if, uh, if Kirsty Hall wants to just give us a link to it after yeah. the show, and we'll mention it in another show about, you know, get some more details. I've, I, I, I don't know. If it's the same one I'm thinking about, that's that's the problem. So I don't really. So know. We'll get clarification. Yeah, we'll get clarification on that. But but thank you very much, Kirsty. That's absolutely wonderful. And look, thank you. I like you. a challenge. I like a challenge. And guess what, gentlemen? Sounds like homework to me, not a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> you and your homework, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, don't forget, guys. Um, yeah. Well, so we've got the video coming up in the next week or so for the Brisbane Zombie Walk. Yeah. Um, I'll have that up, but I'll let you all know when it's done when I've edited it all together. And like I said, because we all, well, I, yeah, I did about 10 hours a day at work and then I come home and it takes me son to his girlfriend's place and come home and then he oh, Dad, you can pick me up now. So I had to go back and pick him up and then it was late and I, I need a violin. Yeah, we're feeling here. sorry for you. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you are. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we'll get that done. Also, if you want the, we've got some more events we've been approached by in the last couple of days, which is fantastic. Um, so we will be in contact with new people. If you listen to the show, yes, we'll be in contact with you shortly regarding what your requirements are for us to show up. If you want us to show up or you want us to stay away, <laughs> one yeah. of the two. Um, and what else did I have to mention before we do close up the show tonight? We've come to the end. Yeah. Have we? Yeah. Well, we've got other films know. like oh, Alien and Poltergeist and... Well, maybe we should do a sequel. What we'll put it out there is... No, well, don't do a sequel. Sequels never turn yeah, out to be original. Yeah, what have we discussed yeah. tonight? <laughs> it's very, it's very, there's only re- very, very yep. rare that a sequel is better than the original. <laughs> actually, what I think we should do, we should so actually... We'll call it a, we'll call it a movie... Part two. Part two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harry Potter and, and whatever yeah. it's called. The yeah. last comment for the night will be, to be continued. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be continued. Yes, well, this, this segment will be continued, but what we're going to do, we're going to give people a bit of notice. And what we're also going to do, they haven't told the boys about this yet... Next time a really fantastic horror movie comes out... You can go by yourself. <laughs> no, we're going to actually put it out there if people want to join us and come with us to the movies in Brisbane. Um, and But we'll give you plenty oh, of no, notice. They don't have to be in Brisbane. They can fly in if they want to. Oh, if they want to, but yeah. you know, they we're not flying out. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm not buying your tickets for you. So you buy your own ticket. But if you want to join me, Team myself, and the Naked Zombie Lads um, at a movie night out at the movies sometime in the future when a good movie comes up, uh, we'll give you plenty of warnings and notice and let us know and we will arrange it all on our end of things. And we'll love to see you all there. Join us for a horror movie night at the movies. So, awesome. um, yeah. We can all scream together. Is that you tapping on the desk? No. Well, some of us. Who's, who's playing? No, man. Anyway, so that's good. Okay. <laughs> Spooky. That's like a bit of a before. I thought that. That's it. Um, so, yeah, anything else, guys? Uh, Wazzy Jr., anything you want to mention tonight before we go? Not at the moment. Okay, well, yeah. You're I'll think of, you'll think of something after the show. Yeah, he yeah. always yeah. does, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, just everyone stay tuned for this investigation coming up on the weekend, which hopefully, yeah, we'll get the... Well, it's not really investigation. It's more oh. like... Uh, Looksy into their lives. Expose on what the zombie boys the get up to story. in the dark. <laughs> Basically, it's expose what the zombie boys get up to in the dark. So, uh, what's he? If it's in the dark, I'm not going in there with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of there. <laughs> You're coming, if it's on the net, through. it must be true. Oh, I love that phrase. And also, guys, thank you so much for everyone who has taken the time to write into us uh, with all the emails and everything. And don't forget about the competition. That's right. That's what I yes. nearly forgot to mention. I'll get your crayons out. Get your crayons out. Oh, I've got a fantastic uh, camera <laughs> there. So this is a competition, just quick before we go and uh, leave tonight's show, is uh, you've got to send a caricature of myself. Um, send it in via email. Uh, go to the contacts page, email brad at brad com, and the first prize is a signed T-shirt of your size in between me, uh, small, <laughs> yeah. small and extra large. <laughs> um, send, in, send in a photo and the... And and the one will be judged the best, and the competition goes for two weeks. So, yeah, so don't yeah, forget the competition. It's been four days already. It's been scribbling. Oh, it's only 
Tuesday announcement, yeah, wasn't it? It's only been two days. It's only been two days. We've already got, already got one, one in. So one that's great. Yeah. One fantastic day. So thank you. So at the that. moment, you're winning. Yeah, you are winning <laughs> at the moment. So we want to see some more uh, pictures and that. And we will also going to try and get it, get out a bit more in Brisbane and let people know where we're going to be and, and meet up with you all and, and do some cool stuff together. So we'll work something out. So thank you, everybody, for jumping on the Facebook fan site. And don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, tell your friends about the zombie because we do it all for love and for the love of horror and sci-fi and zombies the and stuff. the paranormal yeah. and all the good, all the geeky, weird stuff. creepy stuff you can imagine. I'm Brad Scott and you have been listening to Naked Zombie Radio for everything from pop culture to the paranormal and everything in between. Yes, what's it? To be continued. To be continued. Part two of the, naked. the worst movie you've ever seen. Night. Okay, the never-ending story. Have a safe night. <laughs> we'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.